Starter and Structure decks are an integral part of Yu-Gi-Oh's history, with some seeing play as Tier 1 meta contenders, and others as Table 500 fodder. Each week, join Tally and I, the Big Fat Celestial, as we go head-to-head -head and open new Starter or Structure decks in chronological order to answer the question, just how broken can our decks become? Each week, the winner will receive some prize packs, while the loser gets dibs on the next Starter or Structure deck. Welcome to the Structure Deck Progression Series. Hey, yo, guys, how's it going? Tally here, and today I am going to go ahead and destroy Jamie because he thinks he knows a single solitary thing about this Progression Series. The man gets one win, and he thinks he's the king. He's yet to even bow down to the god right here. Jamie, how you doing? I'm doing just splendid. Recently back from my victory cruise around the Scottish Isles, a hearty sailing trip that reminded me how good it feels to be sat upon the winner's throne. A view I am certainly going to continue to enjoy for the next... How long is this series going to be, Tally? <laughs> At least a couple more weeks, until I decide that I'm busy. Okie dokie, so here's what we're going to do, gang. We are going to go our separate ways. Jamie and I are going to review our decks, and then we're going to come together for a head-to-head -head clash that no one has seen the likes of before. And for those in YouTube lands, as always, make sure to comment, subscribe if you are new here, and make sure to like the video. Let's help the channel grow. Right, Jamie, I'm going to patch you right now, and I will catch you later, my friends. Farewell, Tally. Until next time. Bye bye. Bye. So, this week, as the winner, Tally chose the structure deck. He took the Fury of the Depths, which gives him access to Mobius and Tribe Infecting Virus. And that's about it. Now, us in the Winner's Throne, we have infamously one of the worst structure decks in Yu Gi Oh! history Structure Deck Blaze of Destruction. None of this deck's effects synchronize with each other or have any kind of synergy but there are some cards that are going to be useful to us nonetheless. So our boss monster is the Infernal Flame Emperor, which when it's summoned by tributing, you can banish up to five fire monsters to destroy spell and traps. So then we've got Great Angus, a lovely 1800 beater. We've got Blazing in Patchy, uh, 1850 beater. Our floater in the form of UFO Total. We've got Little Chimera, Inferno, Molten Zombie, Solar Flare. And you'll see that I'm skimming past these cards because it's really easy for me to tell you what their effect does. Absolutely bloody nothing! <laughs> yeah, all of these effects are like small, like attack directly and all these kind of little things. They're just not good. Until you read Thelostosis, the Firestorm Monarch, which when it's tribute summoned, we discard a card from our opponent's hand and they take some burn if it's a monster. Now we already have cards like Spirit Reaper, so this is kind of just lending in more to taking some cards out their hand. There is access to a 2k beater in Gaia Soul, but it blows itself up during the end phase so it's of no use. Our next copy of MST, our Nobleman of Crossout, a uh, pot of greed and stuff which we already have, another tribute to the Doomed, things like Darkroom of Nightwear if we ever went down a burn root strategy, level limit area B, could be something that's handy in the future, and then some more sort of generic spells and traps, not too much to notice. Call of the Haunted being another huge shout out, being another form of recursion for us, and then Jar of Greed and Spell Shield Type 8. Not bad. Now, before we go into the deck list, we are going to be opening our four packs of Tournament Pack 6. So let's see in our first pack, Fusion Sage, Burglar and Archfiend, it's gonna be useless. So that's pack number uno. Pack number two, we get Thunder Nyan Nyan, a 900 beater, but if there's another non-light monster on the field, it blows itself up. So this could be useful if we build a deck in the future that's more light orientated. It is equal in body to Luster Dragon, but I don't really think it's gonna be relevant enough. So onto our third pack, and there it is. One copy of Last Turn. Now this could be really funny to use, but anyway, we've got one last pack. Come on, Arknight. Damn. So we got two copies of last turn, but nothing here under than Thunder, Nyan, Nyan. So I don't actually think we are going to use any of it, but that's fine. You know, we got to open the packs. There was never going to be anything too much from them. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you artwork. Yes, behold, it's beautiful, isn't it? This is our deck for the week. Yes, we have taken some slight cards from the Blaze of Destruction. 
and as you can see, Thalatosis has joined as one of our boss monsters. He's a good tribute summon with a good, thick attack. But let me walk you through things. So we are still rocking the major zombie package, which I imagine we will for a while because it is just that wonderful. So we have our Thelatosis, which is our one's our real tribute summon. We've then got Ryokoki and Vampire Lord, which can be summoned very easily with Pyramid Turtle. But the thing that's really good about Vampire Lord that I actually forgot is when it's destroyed by an opponent's card effect, it revives itself. One Spirit Reaper, Blazing and Patchy also coming in. I completely forgot about how thick Regenerating Mummy is, so we've put the two copies of him in because Tally does seem to use Card of Destruction every single time, so <laughs> this could be funny for keeping us up. And then Witch of the Black Forest and Sangen and Missing Tomato speed run us into getting what we need. We've got our three Book of Life for the Recursion, two Noblemen of Crossout because we've then got our two MST, one Nuzzler because it makes our monsters huge. Monster Reborn, Scapegoat, Giant True Nade, Heavy Storm, Pot of Greed, Premature, and then all the usual Triple Compulse, Torrential, and Call of the Haunted. With a lovely, lovely little side deck, we do have the Infernal Flame Emperor to try and do the boss challenge, but that is probably, you know, when we win game one, we'll maybe mess around with them a bit in game two and throw it in. But yeah, that is the list, everyone. So, I'm going to be very honest about this deck, okay? It's pretty poo-poo caca. So poo-poo caca that Jamie and I have given a gentleman's agreement that our decks are so bad we're not going to waste our time with like the deck master challenge this week. It's just so difficult to pull off. But let's talk about Fury from the Deep. Fury from the Deep has a couple of good cards that are really important for this deck. Of course it has a couple extra beaters raising our floor just a little bit higher. Mother Grizzly I think is actually going to come in handy because it can float into a couple of bodies and then we can have a big Chungus booty defence. Tribe Infecting Virus though, this is going to be absolutely poggers, absolutely busted nuts. I'm going to enjoy this because it is searchable by Witch of the Black Forest. We have Fenrir, not going in the deck, not going in the deck, also not going in the deck, but you, my friend. This is the new summoned Skull. This is our new tribute monster, Mobius the Frost Monarch. I'm going to love abusing this dude because he's essentially like Twin Twisters, except when it's normal summoned. Anything else here we've got, I'm not using these. Snatch Steel we've already got, MST I think we've got the playset of. Premature, Pot of Greed, already got it, Storm, got it. I did consider Creature Swap, and Hammer Shot definitely went in the deck. Call of the Haunted I've added an extra one, and Torrential Tribute. Oh, absolute daddy gang stuff right here. So let's take a look at the deck profile. So the deck for this week, we've still got our like myriad of level, like four vanilla beaters. Overall though, pretty powerful. We've got our Luster Dragons, we've got our Dark Blade, our Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness, seven coloured fish, all 1800 and above. We have two Neo, which if I'm honest isn't like great, you know a lot of his monsters can beat over this, but I don't know, I suppose we are still working out the monster lineup. We've got Aquamador, because what we can do as we can use our free Mother Grizzly just to set up a bit of like a defense, right? He's not got anything that can natively beat over a 2k body without going into Pyramid Turtle. We also have Tribe Infecting Virus, which is gonna be absolutely disgusting. If we can play Protect the Castle with this boy, we're gonna have some fun. Mobius, we're gonna have Mystic Tomato because that's gonna float into Witch or Sangan, which can flow into um, Tribe Infecting Virus for Witch or Sangan can search out things like Mother Grizzly. Right, so we've got like a decent, decent resource loop here. And that's our monster lineup. As I said, we're still kind of working on the monster lineup. There's still a lot to improve on, but our spell lineup is absolutely divine. We've got Hammer Shot, which is basically the attack points version of Fissure. So we have six monster removal cards, one just being spot removal, um, or sorry, three of them being spot removal, three of them being absolute board wipes. We've got our two signature swords of revealing light, Heavy Storm. A single only MST, but that's just because like Heavy Storm's that good and Jamie isn't much of a back row player anyway. We've got a Monster Reborn, Premature Burial, Graceful Charity, Snatch Steel, Pot of Greed, Change of Heart and Card Destruction. So the reason that I'm okay with playing so few monsters is because like they have some of the most busted draw spells in the entire game at our disposal. We've got two Trap Hole, got a Rageki Break, Call of the Haunted and Torrential Tribute. So we actually have eight pieces of removal. And really, I'm vibing it. I'm vibing with the deck. I am truly vibing with this. Um, we're not doing any of the dumb stuff. We're just going for only the goodness. 
I think last week Jamie kind of caught me off guard with the whole Ryu Kiyoki stuff. Don't need to worry about it. Don't need to worry about it this week because I just know that we've we've got better plays now. You know, we've got better plays, built the deck slightly better. Last week I was like running like two dark hole. And what I just what I know now is that I just need a lot, a lot of of removal. And that do be how it is. Let the battle commence. Mandatory good luck, have fun in the chat, you list. <laughs> good luck, have fun. Okie dokie. Lovely. Okay, so he's won the rock, paper, scissors. This isn't anything to worry about. Let's start by going first, shall we? And let's see just how bust are. Oh! oh my god. You're not Holy ready for this. Hell. You're not <laughs> ready for this. Damn, I mean, I will start by drawing my first card. Oh my gosh. This is just obscene. <laughs> I'm going to start by setting two cards. Still playing around the mech next for some reason because it's mutter of memory. Ah, it's, and it's I'm going you to know. end my turn. Oh, what a hand. Actually, oh, man, man, this is g genuinely a toughie. There's there's so many good cards here. So I am going to go main phase one. Is that okay? Yeah, I'll allow it. I will <laughs> set a card. <laughs> I will set a card. <laughs> I will set a card. And what the hell's going on? <laughs> well, you're playing around Mech Knights. I'm playing around Imperm. And I will pass to you. Oh, that's that's a pretty good top deck. Um, so I guess it's time we start playing aggro with the Mother Grizzlies and so on, isn't it? Yeah, it so could I'll be a Mother Grizzly. So I'll summon the Iron Knight. Um, I will think on that on that normal summon. You may do as you wish. You feel free and go ahead. You you normal summon that bad boy. Happily. Um, I will then proceed to the battle phase mm -hmm. and initiate combat with Gear Free the Iron Knight. Okay, I will activate Witch of the Black Forest. Tribe. Yup. <laughs> Tribe isn't that good when you're going Neg One against Gear Free. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> oh, I didn't go Neg One. I went zero. No, but I mean, if you use Tribe, that's fine. I can just keep using Tribe. Uh, yeah, I'll just go main two, and... Uh, yeah, yeah. Ah. Okay. Oh, that's, that's, that's a nice little, um, that's a, that's a nice card. Question is, though, is it that relevant? I don't think so. That's definitely not what you should be saying in these kind of decks. Every single card should be gas, gas, gas. <laughs> and I like it's gas. It's just less gas than than the other card that I'm going to use. But we'll we'll give it some time. I'm going to I wonder how paranoid you're going to continue to be with my face down card. Nah, I, I just don't need to be paranoid about it. I'm going to normal summon Zombira the Dark. Zombira the Dark summon is a okay. I will attack, dealing you 300 damage. I'm going to use Compulse on the Zombria. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, I guess I'll, I'll put that back in my hand. Yes, you will. I shall go main phase 2 and end phase and end my turn. About time. Oh man, this, this is nice. Stand by main. You go for it, my friend. Thunder! Feel the thunder! I suppose I <laughs> shall... Go ahead and ride Geki Break, Mother Grizzly, and right, popping Gear Freed. Oh dear, what a shame. I'm then going to summon one copy of Regenerating Mummy. Okay. And then I'll flip summon my Pyramid Turtle. I knew it was Pyramid Turtle. And now let's proceed and get the first 3k in. That's fine. And then I will pass. Absolutely poggers rip. Absolutely poggers rip off the top. So let's see just how much you can do with tribe. So There's I'm... The tribe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Going to ditch my dark blade and declare zombie. Oh no! My zombies! Whatever will I do? How do I play without my zombies? See, I know you're being facetious here, but realistically, <laughs> I just can't see you coming back from this financially. 
<laughs> Your delusion is so entertaining. So <laughs> I'm going to start by activating the Book of Life! Oh wow, he has it. Uh, we'll just banish your Dark Blade, I guess. Mm hmm. And revive my Pyramid Portal. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Then we'll normal summon our copy of Regenerating Mummy. I feel like I've seen this one before. Time for an old favorite battle phase. Pyramid Turtle will smack into your tribe infecting virus, causing me to take 400 and triggering El Pyramid Turtle. Yep. Pyramid Turtle effect will now activate going for... Ooh, decisions, decisions. Do I have game, actually? Uh, 18, no, you'd have quite. to pull out, like, a fair Yeah, no, not, not quite, but enough to really put you in some, uh, some hurty-hurty. So I will summon... Oh, what's good? What's best? I don't know. These are... Uh, eeny, meeny, miny. I don't know why you're pretending you're summoning anything Vampire other. Lord! Oh my god, that dude. You know what, I take, take it back. Take a read of Vampire Lord. <laughs> yeah, it's foolish burial. You think I don't want that? No, it's not just that. But when he's destroyed by card effects, he revives. Ah, it's So you can frog. only take him out with battle. That's fine. <laughs> so let's take swing for 2k and we'll declare spell. Spell okay. I will Get send. One spell gone. And then you're also going to take the 18 from regenerating mummy. This is all too easy. You're I mean, like, need to pull something pretty wonderful out of your hat. <laughs> I mean, like your entire board's outed by a Zambira. I ju just, I just don't see it. <laughs> okay, so you've sent the MST main phase two. I'm going to set a card and I'm going to pass. Draw for turn. Love to see it. Love to see it. You're going to normal summon Zombria, though, aren't you? I am indeed. Okay. I'm going to proceed to battle phase. Okay. And I'm going to punch this. Oh, no. So you take 100, and this is now and on 19. Increases by 200. I shall go ahead and set Uno. Okay. Shall I set Dos? I shall. And I'll pass it back to you. So... And your end phase, I'll MST this one. Ah oh, man, that was the wrong one. El potente. And then I'll draw. <laughs> Lovely, jubbly chaps. So I'm going to activate Pot of Greed, allowing me to draw two cards. Yep. And those are some mighty fine cards. Uh, so how about I normal summon Pyramid Turtle? <laughs> Bang! Oh no! Oh, hang on. That's oh, that's actually unexpected. You thought I wasn't ready to get rid of Zombira. He's useless to me. <laughs> so you're down on the card economy side of things pretty hard. I'm just gonna end my turn because you're on that clock. I'm gonna give you the most beautiful beatdown of my life. Mm -hmm. On attack declaration, Call of the Haunted. Okie dokie. I'll use it to revive. Hmm, 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 hmm. How about Vampire Lord? I suppose I'll just end my turn. Good. Wonderful. Thank you. So, how about I activate Snatch Steel? And that's <laughs> game. We're going to bring in a little bit of overconfidence, because yeah, we don't even need to worry. This will be... See, I'm pretty sure you said that game to last time, and, like, you just absolutely bricked it. So we're going to start our turn with um, some graceful charity. Proceed. Please do as you see fit. Absolutely poggers. I cannot wait. Did you do your usual and draw pot of greed? <laughs> nah. But I did, no. I did draw a nice wee card. I think that's the first time in the progression series you've not used graceful and pot of greed in the same turn. Now, the question is, what, what do we do from here? Yeah, this, mm -hmm. ah, this is fine. We'll go ahead. I'll end my turn. Oh, interesting. Stand by, Min. I suppose I will set a card, and I shall also just pass. Fair. I shall also <laughs> set, set a, a card, card and pass. And pass. 
Ooh. Have yeah. you got a fist full of monsters, or are you just terrified of Heavy Storm again? Nah, I've just... I've, they're just not very good right now. Like, they'll be good later. In, like, a turn or two, once I start demolishing you. So I'll summon Le Jin, the mystical genie of the lamp. Mm-hmm. And swing. Okay, that is fine. Did you I will draw when you went first? Of bollocks, I didn't. I'll activate Mother Grizzly's effect, and I will grab myself another... Mother Grizzly, it's an attack position, isn't it? Yes. We'll need to get our chance to just spam. Draw! <laughs> yeah. When was it? It was actually quite late in the game that they changed the drawing over. Was it 2014? Like, yeah, 2014, 2015. Right. Somewhere around then. So you summon your Mother Grizzly. Oh, damn. I'm an idiot. I sh should have been able to do something there. Ah, uh, it's Pyramid fine. Turtle that's face down. I knew it. <laughs> Proceed to think. Proceed. Please think whatever you like. <laughs> I mean, I suppose I'll just find out. Flip that bad boy up, please. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I knew it, it was Pyramid, Pyramid Turtle. It is Pyramid Turtle. Okay, questions, questions. Yeah, normal summon that. I will declare sending Sea Serpent. Good combo. Going for... Ooh, so here's, here's the real thing, right? Do I need to get rid of Pyramid Turtle now? Because you can't really attack in anything. Yeah, we'll get rid of Legion. We'll call Fiend. Sure thing. And I will end my turn. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um. So, oh, do I do that? That could be quite funny just for getting some of that tempo. <laughs> um. Hmm, fidgety play, but it kind of puts me into a stronger position. Ah, screw it! <laughs> Giant Trunade! <laughs> okay, okay. Take your swords back. Then I'm going to change Pyramid Turtle to attack. Uh-huh. Normal summon Pyramid Turtle. Oh my god. <laughs> You're actually, that card's glued to your hand. <laughs> I love him. He is mine, and he does my bidding willingly. <laughs> uh, so yeah, battle phase. Yes. Pyramid Turtle is going to go ahead and swing into Mother Grizzly. I'm going to take... Oh no, 200! Da -da 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 -da. Pyramid Turtle effect will trigger. Let's go for the first of our flavors and summon real cokey. Uh... And then Pyramid Turtle is going to swing into Mother Grizzly. Mm -hmm. I'm going to once again take 200. Yup. He's going to fall to the grave, and in his place, here he comes, the Lord of the Undead. Come forth, Vampire Lord. <laughs> then, I'm going to use, let's see, Aqua and Beast Warrior. Doesn't particularly matter. Let's get rid of Tribe Infecting Virus. Du -du -du. Oh, that was nearly 8,000 life points. <laughs> Might as well have been. And then Vampire Lord is going to kill off Mother Grizzly. Okay, and Mother Grizzly is going to get another Mother Grizzly. Another Mother Grizzly. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. Main phase two. And then I suppose I could just... You know what? That could be quite funny just... Just as the additional threat. <laughs> You're just gonna like set your whole hand. I'm going to activate Book of Life, banishing uh -huh. your tribe infecting virus. Yes. So no monster reborning him, and I'm gonna bring back a copy of Pyramid Turtle. I'm going to end my turn. This is too easy, Tally. What did I tell you? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm just like, I'm only really giving time to things that matter, so I'm thinking about my plays. <laughs> yeah. Uh. We'll, um... Yeah, let's pop that down there. Cool. <laughs> Stand by me. Uh... Yeah, I guess we start running the clock down, slap a wee counter on Swords of Revealing Light. Damn right. I'd love to see how you plant out Real Koki, Vampire Lord, and Pyramid Turtle. I mean, I'll find I a way. They've looped. They've looped. They've looped. 
I do the float, float, the float, and the float. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know if you've ever seen Jurassic Park, but life uh, find, finds a way. <laughs> do you have it now, or are you speaking hopefully? Ah, it finds a way. Dark turn. Stand by main. Ooh. That could be useful. End my turn. Sick. I think I clicked end turn. I'll give it a second in case it double clicks. Right, I have no double clicked it. Wait, no, that would be There we go. Okay, that card's fine. One more turn of swords. Bum, 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 bum. Easy victory incoming. Draw! Ooh, that's pretty good. But is it good now? <laughs> Not that they're destroyed by card effect. I'll set one. Mm -hmm. Anything on set? I don't know Nothing on set. Potential. Cool, I'll pass my turn. Ooh. Okay. So that is that sword's dead. By swords. You smell that? Smells like victory! <laughs> Could also just be me sweating buckets in the booth. But, okay, you know what, probably my is. turn. Card. I'm going to flip summon Magician of Faith and activate its effect. Uh-huh. I'm going to get back Giant Trinade. Uh-huh. I'm going to activate Giant Trinade. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, he fell for it, chat. He fell for it. <laughs> let's see, let's see. I will set a card. Yes. And I will just, just turn, turn the turtle to attack. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, no, I shouldn't have set that. Damn. No. Damn. Doesn't matter. Um Battle phase. Yes. Pyramid turtle shenanigans. <laughs> yes. Ah! No, hang on, I've just took away. Oh a little bit, mate. Moot as well of taking twenty two hundred, that's what you sound like. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, Pyramid Turtle to, gra to Grave. To Grave. Pyramid Turtle Effect. Uh, this time I'm just going to go for a copy of Regenerating. Mm -hmm. And then we will... Let's see if you were playing another target from other Grizzly. Do, do, do. Nah. Wait, no. No more Mother Grizzly? Nah. I suspected. Uh, we'll then go for Rio Koki into your set card. Damn, that was the only card I didn't want to do that. <laughs> and then Vampire Lord into your set. And a Witch. Please, do as you wish. This card economy doesn't seem to be favouring you too much, Talmeister. I mean, I just have no idea what you're talking about. In phase two, mm -hmm. I will set a card. Uh-huh. And I will... Do I go guns in? Do I go guns in? I'll set He's setting card. two cards. Setting two cards. Oh, absolute. How's that one turn clock looking? Absolute sickest of rips. I just. Dark you know hold time. That gets a thumbs up. Is it dark hold time? So first things first. Just just get rid of that back row for me. It's not doing anything. That's fair enough. There's a mist and a book of life. Okay. You may say that it was a little bit of bait. So I am going to normal summon Zumbaira. Not dark hole. Interesting. And One. then I'm just going to card destruction. Yeah, I was expecting that to arrive at some point. One, two, three. One, Ironically, two, that's why I set three. my card, just in case one or the other happened. Absolutely immaculate. I'm gonna dark hole. That may have been incorrect, sir, but okay. I'm gonna risky of you. Monster Reborn. Sure. And I'll attack for twenty four hundred. Sure. Ab absolute goddamn protagonist energy right here. That's not bad. I'll give you that. <laughs> so effect because you blew up vampire lord he revives yes he does 
do be reviving. Then we're going to be activating Pogreed. Okay. Damn, those are good. Set one. Mm -hmm. Normal summoning Blazing and Patchy. Oh, he big. He's got an 18 on his chest. Yeah, he's relatively large. Relatively large. Is by stacking a blowout like that? Yeah, it's kind of my thing. You'd be able to have like Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, Reborn. <laughs> that That is the pathway to victory. Uh, the lowest attack. Sure. So I feel like this is probably Compulse. But we, like, we, it's just how we find out, you know? Okay. Nice. Oh, it's a, it's a two turn clock you're on there, pal. Uh, not quite. I'm going to activate Book of Life. Mm hmm. Banishing Zombraya. Yup. To summon a copy of Spirit Reaper. Nice. Like to see it. And I will set a card mm -hmm. and end my turn. Hmm. Is it time to do that? I don't think it is. Let's let's find out what this set card is, though. Goodbye, Great Angus. Oh, bye, Great Angus. And I'll end my turn. Things are just... We're, they're going my way now. I'm glad you feel that. I'm glad you feel that way. I do. I do indeed. Uh... Yeah, I'll set one and end. Beautiful. I'm going to set one. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pass my turn. Dark. Hmm. I'll be back in a moment. I'm going to end my turn. Oh, he's got little balls. Oh! Oh! So, oh, that's what I should have done. I'm just going to double check. That This play is legal, isn't it? I can, in fact, equip that to Spirit Reaper and take control of it. You can. Nice. And then he destroys himself. Oh, because it's targeted. Oh, yeah, because Snatch Steel always... Oh, oh beautiful. <laughs> Honestly, six and half a dozen. It, like... Hmm... Yeah, let's give it some of these. Anything on summon? summon? He also has a fucking torrential tribute. <laughs> Farewell. God damn. Goodbye, as we did. I suppose I'll just end my turn. I suppose you will. <laughs> Start turn. Stand by main. Yup. Activate Call of the Haunted. Yup. And I will summon back Vampire Lord. I'm getting real sick of him. Even if Call of the Haunted dies, guess what? <laughs> he dies. He comes back. <laughs> he do a living. Uh, normal summon. Mm -hmm. You're freed. Um, on the normal summon, Getty. Trap hole. Oh, oh, that's good. That's good. That's good that that's that. I am more than happy with that being how that played out. Uh, battle phase. Yep. Swing for 2,000 and declare spell. You can't have many left at this stage, Talmeister. You can't have many left at all. I'm going to be honest, mate. All the spells that I do have are absolutely top-notch. Just absolutely <laughs> bonkers. Well, like, show me by sending one of them. I'm going to send the worst one. The worst one being Change of Heart. That's Damn. the worst spell that I have. Main phase two, I will set a card. And I will pass. Hmm. It's a... It's a rip. It's a rip for who? For you. <laughs> Why would that be a rip for me? It just means Vampire Lord triggers again. Yeah. He do be coming back with the fury of vengeance. Hmm. Okay, I'll take 17. What he doesn't know, chat, is that I have more Dark Coal. I don't need them gone forever, vampire? I just need them gone long enough. Yes. Returning Vampire Lord. Yes. Um. How much? 
Snatch steel, Neo. Okay, that's 3700 damage. Do you have a normal summon to clinch it? Not yet, I don't. Battle phase. Okay. <laughs> that's going to be 37, and once again, I'll call spell. Okay. <laughs> Risk of decking you out. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's not too great right now. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, those destruction effects, potent, am I right? In phase two, and I will end my turn. You will gain your 1,000, but you're on that one turn clock. Let's see what you can do. Can you pull it out the bag? Spoiler alert. No, you can't. <laughs> I just, you just do a lot of talking, man. You just, you just don't really say much, though. You, this is the same thing! Vampire Lord will just return! Do you know what's even better, right? Do you know what I'm, uh, do you know what I'm doing as the follow-up play? Okay. Uh, interesting. I have game, by the way. <laughs> okay, then like, then like do it. Oh, this, this is gonna feel good. So, start turn. Stand uh -huh. by. Vampire uh -huh. Lord. Yeah. Yeah. So, Tally. Many uh -huh. as a time in episodes one, two, and three, uh -huh. did something, uh -huh. something brutal. And I've been taking the fun, I've been taking the piss out of you this entire time. But you know what? I've I've changed my mind. You I've could got say I've a had change, a of, change heart. of heart. Man, can't even like. <laughs> wow, this is the exact same turn two games in a row. Two phase vampire life for so... game. GG number two. Let's go. Oh! <laughs>